Hey guys, sometimes I just see a very nice effect, a very nice technique used in a different software like Affinity Designer Competitor, Adobe Illustrator, and then I try to challenge myself. Can I get a similar result in this more affordable software? And that was the inspiration for our today's tutorial. As you can see here, I managed to create this text effect with those infinite strokes, like ripples coming from the text. And I keep it all editable, so we can simply double click and we can change the text inside and all of those ripples, all of those strokes around will duplicate, they will stay here. So how did I get this effect? The trick is we need to use a version 2 because in version 2 we can click on layer effects and as you can see I add so many outline effects. So version 2 allows us to add a duplicate of existing effects. So not only one time but we can add the same effect over and over again. Keep in mind the one at the bottom must be the largest one. So in my case that's 800 pixels. You may see that the slider is stopping on 100, but we can override this just by typing the value. So let's try to add maybe one more extra line outside. So I will duplicate this last effect by clicking plus. Alright, and then I move back to the one at the bottom. This will be a bit larger, so 850. Now I change the color, this will be the white one. And again, I must click plus again, go to the lowest one. This time, that will be 900 pixels per X for pixels and the black color. And you can see, we got the extra, we got extra line. So we got 800, 850 here and then we got 900. So we add two extra lines, one is white and one is black. And we can keep adding those lines this way just by duplicating the very same outline effect by clicking the plus button. I keep the size different by 50 pixels. As we can see, it's going down, 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 down. Okay, so it took me a while to add so many outlines. That's why it would be a good idea to save this as a style, this way we can reuse that. So click on the text if you want to keep this style for later. I'm in the style studio and simply pop up the box and we can add the style from the selection. Oh no, it's pop up on my second screen, <laughs> just a moment. So we want to add this here to our styles. Let me just resize my window a bit. I don't know why it's popping up to my second screen. Okay, how about now? Better. So take a look. We can add a new category if you want to organize this nicely, but I think I will just drop it in a default category. Here it is. Add style from selection and take a look. My style 10. That will be it. Let me move to the next artboard with a plain text. I click on the text, now I click on the style and here it is, our infinite outlines. Of course, you can keep playing with it and adding more and more. I already noticed that it starts to slow down a bit, take a look. It's kind of jumpy, so I think it's heavy for the software to add so many effects on one object. You must be careful here. If you'd like to try this effect, I will post the link to download this style from my Gumroad for free, so you can play with it. Just a warning, as you can see, it's kind of consume memory having the text with so many outline lines. All right, that's really interesting. What else can we do by just adding multiple effects of the same kind here in the layer effect panel, right? We can duplicate inner shadows, 
we can duplicate gradients and colors and also all the shadows. So this way we can get effects of our own design using those multi applications in the panel. All right, so I hope this is interesting for you. Feel free to grab the style from the description and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.